Today we are going to see how the 3M command strips have held up on my walls after being placed a year ago. Let me know how you think they held up in the comments below. In my 3M command strip video that I posted a year ago, you would have seen that I put this up and showed you how to level it. It was on a different wall, but the command strips that are on the back of here are the same command strips as before, but I did have to put new ones on the wall. But nonetheless, that this has been up here for an entire year and hasn't fallen one time, you can still put it back on and off, just like I had mentioned in the other videos. You can put it on there, level it again. There you go, a year later, never fallen. No issues with it coming off the wall at all. So when I did the video last year, I was also remodeling my daughter's bedroom and I didn't want to put any nails in here. So pretty much everything that's on the wall is held up with command strips minus this shelf. I had to screw it in. But as you can see, we have all kinds of stuff. Backpacks, sweater, sweater, sweaters, hanging stuff. And when I pull it off, as you can see, that the command strip still on the wall, not ripping off any of the paint, and it's a year later and it holds all this stuff. One thing you do need to know about command strips, there is a weight limit. We'll talk about that in another video. This didn't make it on the original command strip video that I did, but it was put on around the same time and it's still held up with command strips. As you can see right here, the command strip is still on here, also on the wall, it has not fallen off. There is no peeling, tearing, anything like that. And then you obviously just put it right back on here. And again, I've eliminated having to use nails and I can put this up and I can put it in anywhere else I want in the room and I'm not gonna have holes. So as you can tell, I actually really, really like command strips a whole lot. But let me show you one thing that on the original 3M uh, command strip video that I did do that didn't hold up, actually fell off. And let me tell you why. Let's go. So when I originally put this up, it did hold for a couple of days. But what I realized after it kept falling off is that the edges right here are so rough and rigid that the command strip just wouldn't set flush enough to stick on it. So you can do two options. You can sand it down if you want, or you can use a nail, which is what I opted doing because I just didn't really want to take all that extra time when I can put one nail, but it's only one nail in there. So if you are gonna put something like this up, which is a rough surface, you're gonna definitely wanna sand it down if you wanna use the command strips. And you're also gonna to wanna to make sure that you know how heavy it is so you know how many command strips to use. But this, as far as now, is being held up with one nail. Unfortunately, not a command strip. So I also wanted to show you this too, because I'm actually inside my bathroom and command strips work very well, especially in small places. So we wanted to hang this up in here again without the nails. This has been up here for quite some time. And uh, as you can see, the command strips are still up here. The wall is still intact. The paint has not ripped and everything is how it should be. This, like I said, has been up here for quite some time and it's gonna remain here for even a lot longer. And there you go, works great for small places just like this. I don't recommend this at all, but it worked for me. I use command strips to hang on my security camera. If you do this, this is at your own risk and own liability. So after one year with the command strips, I think they held up really, really well. But if there's something you think I missed or there's another command product you wanna see me review, go ahead and put that down in the comments and I'm gonna take a look at that. Also, check out these other videos. I just did one on these jumbo heavy duty hooks. I also did one for the mop and broom holder. There's gonna be a big playlist which you can watch right here. So go ahead and click on that and check these out. Make sure you smash that like button and if you haven't yet, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys as always for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.